So I'm Theo. And I'm V. And we're V Dub Van Life. <laughs> and we've been travelling since June last year in our VW T4 van across Europe. We were 16 and we basically just had friends who knew each other and just kind of hung around all together, same group of people and just, uh, yeah, he sent me a text and the ball got rolling from there. Yep. And here we are, 10 years later. <laughs> <laughs> when I first met B, I'd always uh, joked about and told her that we were going to live in a van one day and I had to make that happen. <laughs> she never believed me. She'd always say, oh, no, I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but yep, here we are living in a van. Like, I don't really know how kind of the idea came about, but uh, I know I didn't want to work here, uh, at nine to five anymore, and I wanted to get away from the uh, corporate video world for a bit, and uh, this was the best way to do it, I think. So obviously the the internet played a big role. You know, you're surfing a, surfing the internet and you're seeing kind of all these people off doing cool things and traveling around the world. And yeah, it's, traveling is just something that we we've, we've both got in common, and we just want to see as many places as we can, meet as many people as we can, and uh, yeah, it's it's been great. It's like obviously traveling if you're staying in hotels all the time it's quite pricey which is why being in a van made a lot of sense to be able to see a lot of stuff and save a lot of money and yeah that was probably one of the main one of the main reasons why we do it because yeah you couldn't you couldn't do what we've done uh, for the price that we've done it uh, if you're not in a van being a filmmaker and photographer uh, instead of staying in a hotel or something like that where you have to get up two hours before sunrise i can park on on the doorstep of a beautiful landscape and get out of my van in the morning and just go and shoot and have a great time and and because of that and because being immersed in the landscape yourself uh, you get better images and and you're able to kind of be there when the light is at its best and instead of having to go back to the hotel or or stay at someone's house you're always immersed in the in the landscape and you're very free as well you're not tied down to anywhere well other than the bikes when we locked into the van but <laughs> we can leave whenever we want and just go wherever we want and i think that's that's probably my favorite thing just being anywhere rain is really it seems to have followed us everywhere <laughs> our whole entire trip but you know if you choose to stay in norway for two months that's that's probably gonna happen yeah i don't think it is difficult as a couple um me and theo have always been really close we're the kind of couple that literally from day one we were together pretty much 24 7. yeah i mean we've been together 10 years now and it's not like we just jumped into a van straight away and tried to make it work we we knew each other very well already we lived in a really small flat we lived in a small <laughs> flat already probably not uh, much bigger than the van so that was good training really and uh yeah we've, we've we find it all right i go off and do my photography and, and filmmaking b likes to read and yeah we have our we have our own space but we enjoy spending time together as well oh i miss having an oven yeah we're pizza addicts can't have pizza. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, you can't have oven food, uh, but you eat healthier yeah. uh, and you eat fresh all the time, which is good. Uh, constant Wi-Fi would have to be my one. Like, I, I like to uh, go online and also for my business and, and finding work and and connecting with people. Uh, you need to be online a, a lot. Um, definitely go on a trip before you do anything just then you'll know whether you like it or not yeah um, maybe a week or a weekend uh, just to kind of try and see and, and suss out the different things you yeah know. get used to not staying in campsites every night unless you're really rich and you can afford to stay at campsites <laughs> every night then fair do but yeah you need to get used to being in places a lot of people aren't comfortable staying somewhere where they might not be allowed to stay um, you know, we've camped under signs where it says no no camping, but no one's ever bothered us and it's been fine. You just gotta, you just get used to it, but that and definitely um, 
showering. <laughs> we get asked a lot about showering. You've got to be used to not showering every day because that's not only really possible. Get, get creative, that's all I'd say. Get creative and you find other ways to wash and stay clean. We've got a website, it's uh, vidavanlife.com. On there you can find our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and now YouTube as well. We're kind of spread all over everything. Uh, we update as often as we can, at least once a week usually. So, and Instagram, we try and do that every day. So, yeah, that's a good place to find us. It's Vida Van Life on everything. <laughs>